Okay, so, uh, okay, I'm gonna talk uh, ab uh, about the new two, my speculation of the two new heroes uh, in the year of Covenant, the year five of For Honor, and obviously the first one I will say I, f I think will be is uh, is a Mongolian warrior, a heavy warrior with probably a war mace, and. The other one is a warrior monk, but I much more want to see uh, two more Wulin, so absolutely one Mongolian should be very nice, and then just to see some other kind of uh, Chinese warrior with some other kind of weapon, I, so, because we, we have so many uh, uh, characters in For Honors. Uh, especially we, uh, we have so few of the Wulin. We, the, um, uh, we have the, the character we much have of is the knight faction. Uh, then I would say the, the, then the Viking and Samurai have the same bunch of uh, heroes, and the Wulin have the least of them. And I think that is a bit in. I, I, okay, I, abs I, I understand why they are the last of them because they are the newest faction in the game. That is one thing, but the other thing is that. Uh, because of you have to okay, obviously I, you have to understand when a game is uh, when you pay for a game uh, you always have to with the more money the, the, the company get the more money they will use to build up the game from with the balancing the graphic uh, advent different things and and this kind of thing so obviously they they have like a uh, data, so they look at the data when people play, so pe they can see what faction will what faction do player plays play the most on the computer or on the consoles, and it's so obviously if they see okay, uh, for I I don't know the number, but for example, if we say you see maybe sixty sixty. 62 people 60 uh, 62 times you see uh, samurai and I can say 49 you see uh, Viking and you can see uh, 78 and people play the nights uh, for each uh, each day they play you see more samurai you see more night on the deathmatch or the breach or battlefield uh, because obviously if you play for honor and you play always if you play online you can see that more people probably will play uh, the knight or the samurai or, or the Viking and very few people will play this uh, the Wulin faction so obviously that because of popularity is more likely that you will focusing on popular characters uh, in pop popularity to make more people interesting to buy the character with buy the character uh, with uh, with real money and, and to build to to, uh, to because you need, they need they use money to build the game uh, and and this kind of thing so yeah so probably because the uh, the two heroes the two latest heroes the griffin and the other one, I uh, forget the, the, get the name of, was the two knights. It's because of popularity, and the second one's probably because of popularity. And the most popular thing so that they don't have yet in the game is uh, beside of a Spart. Spart uh, like, okay, if I can say the most popular warriors in history for like warrior pop culture is the the, Spart uh, the Spartans. Especially the elite, uh, uh, the Mongol, uh, the Mongolian warriors, uh, and then we have the, then we have the Aztecs. Uh, especially the uh, especially the elite there too, uh, not the, not the normal Aztecs warrior, but the elite people really like, especially the jaguars. Um, so, you, but. But the, this is the most this is the most popular warriors 
uh, if you don't count uh, if you don't count the samurai or the vikings or the knight if you take them away you have the spartans you have the aztecs and then you have the mongolian warriors um, or you have the egyptian uh, egyptian warriors especially uh, the elite, the cavalry especially the chariot warriors is the pop most popular uh, because of uh, like egypt um, <laughs> egypt is a very 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 popular thing it in history for many people like if you look at the uh, documentaries or you look in books the most thing you will find is about egypt and uh, I don't know. I, I I don't know why people are so interested in G Egypt. I have been in Egypt one time a long time ago, uh, but I don't know why people think that is so interesting with Egypt. Uh, they are just very popular. It's super popular with the pyramids, uh, the kings, uh, uh, the uh, the place with the kings. Um, sorry, sorry, the ki the place of the pharaohs. And you have the like the sacrifice. You have the uh, the the you have the big big fee. Uh, uh, like it's it, obviously there's lots of things. Uh, same similar to, like similar to the Romans is a lot of things still you can see because they build in uh, material that is yeah still exists today like uh, marmor, uh, gr granite. Uh, lap, they use lapislazuli to paint their uh, tombs, like the sacrifice, like when they put uh, the uh, pharaohs in, uh, blue, uh, blue and gold. That is the, and so on. And so, so if you have like you have the Mongolian, you have the Egyptian, you have the Spartans, you have the Aztecs. Um, and and obviously, but that is very easy to understand. If you just look at like video games, you can look in every different categories of video game. Uh, most game when you uh, use like uh, uh, weapons or it's a very popular game. Lots of people play online, and you buy DLC and this kind of thing. Like example, you have in. Uh, you have in uh, Overwatch, you have it in Paladin. Uh, the most of the game today you play is like Japanese game, for example, uh, Niho, uh, Sakari, uh, Ninja Gaiden, Dead or Alive, Tekken, uh, Street Fighter. Uh, lots of the game uh, is. It's very lots of time so much of a Japanese character because they are very popular in uh, in pop culture for many different reasons, and that is yeah and so there is a reason I ho absolutely hope to see two more uh, to see more two more Wolin in uh, in the game I really want absolutely, uh, but I think it's it's not gonna be very likely. But I really hope for that. I think I ho if they do, I hope they will do as I said before, a, mo uh, a Mongolian warrior as a mercenary, and and the other one is probably some uh, person that have similar have the same weapon as the uh, Lu Lu Bei. Lu Bei is one of the warriors in the Romance of the Three Kingdom, uh, the one of the bad guys. In Romance of the Kingdom, I don't know what he's, he's some kind of healer about the weapon he has, like some kind of uh, version of a dagger axe, it's a kind of axe with a spear. Uh, because the, the the Chinese under the uh, the first emperor, uh, they the special thing with them, the Chinese army, is that they use uh, polar weapons and crossbows. Uh, and it's very unique for that time period. It's only the time other, other warrior in society in that, around that time. Uh, 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 sorry, before that time was uh, the Mac Macedonians with the Sarissas, and and so on. They use this kind of weapon. Okay, so they they use this kind of weapon, and so on. So yeah, this is what they do.